Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today we are taking a first look at the brand new Galaxy S3. And I am very impressed with this device. So I figured the first thing we would do is take a look at a size comparison between the Galaxy S3 here and the Galaxy Note quite a difference. The Galaxy S3 is not a small device by any means but when you're used to using the Note like I am it uh, feels tiny in your hands. So like I said I am excited to take a look at this device and very impressed with it. I've had it for about a day and a half, two days now and just am in love with it so far. You can see the cool little ripple animation here on the lock screen and it doesn't matter where you touch it uh, to unlock you have these quick launch icons down here at the bottom and those can be changed if you want to quickly go to the dialer for example you just touch it and pull away and it will launch right into the dialer here so this thing is all about speed and smoothness. Uh, I have had, my first Android phone was the Galaxy One, the Captivate on AT&T, and then I moved up to the Galaxy S2, and then went to the Note, and now am here with the Galaxy S3. And man, I gotta say, this is by far the best experience out of any of them that I've had. I mean it's just super fast very little lag anywhere and this is on the stock ROM here. Uh, I haven't done a custom ROM at all so just super quick everything pops in you've got your button here that's the only thing there's a little bit of lag there when you push the home button sorry there's a little bit of a lag that's the only spot I've seen any kind of lag. When you click on something here, things just pop right in. Everything works great, super fast. Just phenomenal. I like the little animation there showing you you have multiple toggles up here at the top that you can play with. camera takes phenomenal pictures. In fact, I will add some pictures here at the end of the video to show. I took some uh, pictures in the full 8 megapixel, the highest resolution, and they turned out great. Let me get rid of everything that's running here in the background. No, stop pushing it. Load up the browser here. Now we are not on uh, Wi Fi. Load up our site, mobiletechvideos.com. And you see it, I mean, it's pretty quick. Just over, and I'm not even in LTE area. This is just normal 4G. Do the pinch to zoom. Works out great. Let me do two fingers. Pinch to zoom is super quick. There's no checkerboarding at all. And we do have some flash content on this site here. So really great. Now this is the Canadian version. Uh, so some of the apps are different. This is not the AT&T version 
you, if you get the AT&T version, you'll have some different AT&T apps. A lot of them are the same though, navigation. A lot of the Google apps are all gonna be the same. But just very, very impressed with this. TouchWiz 4.0 is great. If you want to add a widget, and the widgets are just super fast. Load right up. Some of the widgets, this one is not, uh, are resizable. I guess that one's not either, but just great. You see just everything just flies in. So you see this model number is I747M, which signifies it as one of the Canadian versions. Battery life has been great. I charged it yesterday morning and you see I still have 43%. So Excellent there. Call quality was great. Individuals that I spoke to on the phone claimed that they could hear me just fine. I tried speakerphone and the speakerphone is extremely loud. It's great on this device. I think in part due to the fact that the speaker now is placed up high and very predominant. Uh, previous models it's down low but they could hear it just fine and they reported that there wasn't that hollow sound that you get usually when you're talking to someone on a speakerphone. Also the audio in general for this phone is in incredible. The ringtones, the notification sounds come out super loud. I've been found myself having to turn it down Whereas on my note, I have them, I have to turn them up in order to hear them well. This has just been great. So very, very pleased, very impressed with the speaker as well as the camera. The smoothness of the UI, the scrolling around and things. So I can't wait to try a custom ROM on this. There are some Jelly Bean ROMs out right now. Cyanogemod 10 Jelly Bean apparently on this device is just incredible with the Project Butter. But to answer the question, if you are looking to get a new device, should I get the Galaxy S3? Absolutely. A huge resounding yes. This is just an amazing device. Once I get used to the smaller size, coming from the Note. I'm so used to that big, beautiful screen. Once I get used to that smaller size, I think it's gonna be awesome. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been Sam with MobileTechVideos.com checking out the brand new Galaxy S3. I appreciate you checking out the video. Stay tuned afterwards. I'm gonna put up some pictures. Also, don't forget to check us out, MobileTechVideos.com, your complete source for all your device needs. You can also follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. I will see you next time.